feel like your grocery bill is high, you're definitely not alone. At this point, it's hard to remember when grocery prices were normal. Every time we wheel the cart down supermarket aisles, we fear which unwelcome surprise we might find next. In recent years, many of us have become accustomed to doing quite a bit of mental math when we go shopping because with each passing month, we continue to see the cost of everything continuously climb. The items we used to toss in our carts without a second thought about the cost have become way too expensive to make their way into our pantries. Over the past year, food prices have jumped by 11.4%, according to official numbers. But U.S. consumers are seeing much higher increases in a wide range of everyday staples. Bread, for example, surged 16.2% in the past 12 months. The cost of meat, poultry, and fish is about 16% higher since the start of 2022. Meanwhile, egg prices soared by a shocking 39.8%, and we're being told that this is just the beginning. There are many factors pushing food costs to stratospheric levels, and they're combining to create a nightmare scenario for our food supply chains in 2023. That's what we're going to expose today. But before checking this list, please give us your support with a thumbs up in this video and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss our upcoming lists. Without further ado, here are 15 reasons why your grocery bill is sky high right now. 1. Production is down all across the board. The compounding challenges of labor shortages, soaring energy prices, and shortages of commodities and raw materials have resulted in a significant production slowdown that's been affecting virtually every sector of the industry. But the food sector in particular has been disproportionately impacted by this deceleration. Many processing plants had to slash headcount to avoid crowded working conditions amid the pandemic, but since then, some have never resumed normal operations. In turn, Food producers had to increase the price they charge consumers to make up for their higher operational costs. 2. New Choke Points on Supply Chains The pandemic disrupted nearly every part of the food supply chain, including production, processing, and retail. Even the cost of transportation of food to processors and grocery stores skyrocketed as retailers started panic buying to keep store shelves stocked. On top of that, border closures, shipping and port delays, and ongoing freight prices, increased tariffs, and stricter import and export regulations have made the logistics process far more costly for grocery retailers. All of these cost increases are folded into the price consumers pay for groceries, and as new choke points ahead of the busiest shipping season of the year, we'll probably see our grocery bills reaching new highs in the months ahead. 3. Consumer demand rapidly shifted, and grocery retailers are still rushing to adapt. When the economy started falling apart in 2020, millions of Americans lost their jobs, Many of us started to look for creative ways to save money. Lockdowns also led many families to eat more at home, and demand for groceries spiked 81% in September 2020. About a third of consumers admitted to stockpiling food staples, while many orders went on a panic-buying frenzy that left store shelves bare. A few million people eating a few extra lunches at home every week took a monstrous bite out of the U.S. food supply. And as supplies got more scarce, there was really only one direction prices could go. 4. Food retailers are still dealing with scarcity. After the global health emergency exploded in 2020, food retailers have seen consumers stockpiling essentials at a staggering pace. Many of them tried to boost their inventory levels to meet the unexpected surge in demand, but up until this day, 
they're still having difficulty finding reliable suppliers, and even when they do, they might not be able to order the volume they want. Take Data, an analytics company that tracks retailer transactions with shoppers and manufacturers, revealed that many suppliers are reaching maximum production capacity, which led them to limit or cap retailers' orders. 5. The U.S. is facing unprecedented truck driver shortages. Since the burst of the health crisis, tens of thousands of truck drivers left the industry due to various reasons, including poor working conditions, exceedingly high fuel costs, and lots of government bureaucracy to regulate their jobs. Today, the nation faces the worst trucker shortage on record, and that is adding lots of stress to our domestic supply chains. According to the senior vice president at Baldor Specialty Foods, Benjamin Walker, finding truck drivers in 2022 is almost impossible, and service levels are the lowest he has ever seen in his 16-year career. Right now, only around 50% of deliveries are arriving on time, a massive drop from the usual 90% rate. Delivery delays contribute to product shortfalls and higher prices at your local supermarket. Unfortunately, there's no quick fix to this issue. We're likely to lose an additional 80,000 drivers over the next five years, according to estimates released by the American Trucking Association. 6. The manufacturing sector is also struggling with labor shortages. In the past couple of years, 16.6% of the nation's manufacturing workers have quit their jobs amid the pandemic, as well as the steady deterioration of working conditions, significantly slower wage growth, and the rise of remote working. Even though employers have been trying to attract new people to fill in all of those vacant positions, the sign-on bonuses, referral fees, and more generous compensation packages don't seem like enough to recover all the workers that were lost. According to wholesale food distributor Cisco Corporation, product scarcity is particularly high among labor-intensive food items, which include certain cuts of meat such as bacon, ribs, and chicken wings and tenders. No wonder why the meat and poultry category experienced the highest price hike since 2020. 7. Warehouses are full to the brim and costs are breathtakingly high. Data released by real estate firm CBRE Group Inc. shows that the warehouse rental rates across the U.S. are about 330% higher than they were in 2020. In August alone, the average rent of an industrial property went up by an average of 25%. The group noted that warehouse rental rates have never been so high and are not expected to decline anytime soon. At the same time, the country's vacant warehouse space is at near zero levels, Flexport reported. This means trouble for ports, as thousands of unloaded containers pile up everywhere, making congestion exponentially worse. 8. The U.S. is going through a historic energy crisis. Energy is an input that affects sectors across the economy, including the food sector, from turning on lights and operating machinery to the delivery of goods all over the nation. Energy is critical across the food supply chain. It's also key to the food supply chain in ways that may not seem as obvious. This year, we've seen the cost of electricity jump 34.6%. Meanwhile, gasoline prices more than doubled in June, up 109%. Diesel prices have been averaging $5 a gallon for months. Needless to say, this is taking its toll on the food sector, just as it has taken its toll on our wallets at the gas pump. 9. The impact of the Ukraine crisis is being felt here in America, too. In the early days of the conflict between Russia and Ukraine, analysts speculated that global food prices were bound to be affected, and their predictions have proven to be right. Both countries together account for 30% of all wheat exports. But the conflict 
has sparked serious challenges for Ukraine to continue exporting commodities. Since February, its cargo exports decreased by 92 percent, as data from the S&P Global Market Intelligence revealed. With Ukraine unable to fulfill its role as a major wheat producer, the entire globe is facing a shortage. Tight supplies mean that the price of wheat is much higher than it used to be, which consequently makes it more expensive to process other key ingredients such as flour and starch. Just as the rest of the world, the U.S. is scrambling to find a new international supplier of key consumer goods. 10. At the same time, the sanctions we imposed against Russia are now affecting our food supply chains. Western countries have implemented bans on Russian imports, including oil and gas, but these measures are causing repercussions for us too. The shortfall of natural gas supplies sent global energy prices up by over 25 percent from August 2021 to August 2022. In the U.S., natural gas prices climbed by 165 percent, driving the cost of electricity up and consequently fueling an increase in food production costs. On top of that, Russia is a major exporter of fertilizers, accounting for nearly 30 percent of the world's fertilizer exports. But even before the conflict broke out, the world was already facing a shortage of fertilizers, which leads us to the next reason. 11. Farmers are paying 300% more on fertilizers this year. Last year, fertilizer was around $270 per ton. Now it's over $1,400 per ton said Megan Kaiser of Kaiser Family Farms. That represents a 300% increase, according to the American Farm Bureau. It's scary. It turns my stomach a little bit to think about the amount of risk that farmers are taking right now. They're finding themselves forced to pass some of those costs along to customers, resulting in higher grocery prices, she added. Fertilizer is essential for crops. Without fertilizer, Plants may not get the nourishment they need to result in the yields necessary to meet global demand, Kaiser continued. The International Fertilizer Association notes that we would only be able to feed about half of the global population without fertilizer. 12. Extreme weather is another major threat to America's food security. This year, storms have delayed the planting season. The drought that's hitting almost half of the country provoked extensive crop failures in our main agricultural areas, especially in California, where many farmers abandoned their crops due to the scorching heat. As heat waves and events like Texas's truly brutal blizzard become more common and more powerful, the threat to the nation's food supply will only grow. And so will our grocery bills. 13. The nation's beef cow herd and egg-laying chicken flocks have been decimated. You've probably already noticed the absurd price hikes in the grocery segment of meat, eggs, and chicken. U.S. ranches are facing a double whammy. While there's currently an outbreak of bird flu in America, which led to the depopulation of nearly 40 million egg-laying chickens, the extreme drought has also led two-thirds of cattle men to sell off their herds early due to water and grass shortages and the high costs of feed. As the imbalance between supply and demand persists, we'll continue paying more for meat. 14. We can't find good deals at our local stores anymore. Given that grocery retailers are also paying higher prices for everything these days, it's been harder to find discounts, and when we do, they usually come in a multiplex. But according to Edward Fox, professor of marketing at SMU Cox School of Business, these deals don't really save us much, especially if the fine print includes a must-buy, meaning you have to buy that amount to get the deal. In most cases, it might not be worth it, and you may end up having to throw some products in the garbage. You've seen them before. 
buy five for the price of three or get ten for ten, he said. Avoid them, they're usually a way for retailers to get rid of inventory that's not selling. Make sure you check the expiration date of these bundles before you buy them. And 15. U.S. stores are designed for us to spend more than we intend to. In an interview with Business Insider, the professor also highlighted that there are many techniques retailers use to make us buy more. For example, putting essentials at the back of the store makes us walk through the entire place, passing lots of other items along the way, and exposing us to more products, which leads to buy more stuff. Moreover, large carts mean more space for more products. Larger carts do, on average, increase the size of the total ticket by 20%, revealed Patrick Fisher, Intellix VP of Retail Strategy and a retail industry analyst and consultant formerly of Nielsen and Little US. Because convenience is a key with customers, 60% of items we choose to purchase are merchandised at eye level, added Dustin York, professor at Maryville University. However, Grocery retailers tend to place more expensive brands or the store label brands, which make a higher margin, at eye level. Food inflation is a trend that's likely to persist. Sylvain Charlebois, director of the Agri-Food Analytics Lab at Dalhousie University, said during an interview with Bloomberg that people will have to get used to paying more for food. From now on, it's only going to get worse. For low-income families, the outlook is particularly troubling. Skyrocketing food prices are regressive and particularly damaging to them, given that they're forced to spend a greater share of their monthly income on food compared with upper-income households. Their trade-offs are not just foregoing a non-essential expense or not paying a utility bill. It might be far worse, such as not going to the doctor or not getting their full dietary needs, such as an adequate protein intake, because it's simply too expensive. Some of them will have to find a side income just to cover their extra grocery costs. By now, it's become a common thing to start making calculations in our heads at the checkout line to determine what other things we might have to sacrifice financially because we just got hit with a high food bill. Many Americans who have never struggled with money before are now having to make difficult decisions, such as turning to food banks for the first time in their lives. Unfortunately, there's not just one solution that could fix this situation. Analysts say it'll take time for consumers to see relief, which means that, until then, our grocery bills will keep shooting higher and higher. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. We look forward to your comments under this video.